on right now. Okay. <laughs> I talked to my friend Dave O'Connor yesterday and he said you guys were waiting uh, for another video last week and he's getting some reports from all of you that you miss it. <laughs> I don't know why you miss I'm not that handsome. I mean, you know, really. <laughs> why do you want to see me do this? Stuff is beyond me. But anyway, we have a situation here that I thought maybe you people might be interested in seeing. Uh, and this is, we're making a base for Graham. He's down in um, Alabama. Yeah. And uh, it's pan, it just panned the base beat a little, okay? This is a beautiful instrument. This is, uh, you know, made from uh, mahogany and burgundy. The cats are ebony, a zero coat fingerboard on the neck, a zero coat here on the sides. You know, it's beautiful. Um, in the process of putting these pieces of burgundy in, the Joe put them in and uh, I forget, Joe's just didn't know, and I forgot to mention it to him. These are things that happen sometimes, you know. You can show the end here, Pete, what happened is when we inlaid these two pieces here, we went deeper than the original piece that was here. Now back here, it doesn't matter too much. Nobody's going to complain about that, no one's even going to care. But up here, when we did the line here, this piece here came all the way out. And as you can see, we tried to fix it. Pete went in there with a the chisel and pulled it out and carved it a little bit. And the same thing over here. And what happens is the line gets broken. And we could be here all day playing around with this thing. And maybe it might we might be able to pull it off here. It was really my fault for not letting Joe know that you got to keep the same depth. When, we, when they asked him to inlay those pieces, he just inlaid them. And he did a nice job. Everything was nice and clean. No problem. It just, the difference in the depth causes a little problem. So, um, in the back, it is beautiful. It's a beautiful instrument all the way around. Lace wood, everything is really cool. And what we are going to do to fix this thing <laughs> is something similar that you guys have heard about before when uh, I told you on I think one of the videos about how I fixed La Slaypool's rainbow base when it got kind of crazy. Things weren't working right and we ended up cutting the body off and making a new body for it. Um, we're not going to make a new body for this. We're going to keep the old body. But we are going to cut it off. We're going to cut down here and down here and get rid of this whole thing. And then we're going to inlay a new block of wood in here on both sides and glue it back together. That's what's going to happen today. <laughs> I mean, we kicked around this idea back and forth, different ways of trying to fix it. And I just, I kept saying, Pete, it's hopeless, I mean, you know, you know, and chances are, had I not mentioned any of this, probably a lot of people wouldn't even notice it, you know. But I guarantee you, folks, I did notice it, and we all noticed it. And like I said before, I can't let something go out if I don't think it's right, and it's not right. I mean, the instrument's probably going to play fine, and for all practical purposes, like I said, people wouldn't even see it. You know, it would be, it'd be okay. But uh, it breaks my heart to have to do it this way. And I feel bad for, for Graham, because he's waited for this instrument. Now it's going to take probably another week. I'll have to call Graham and let him know that. I was hoping we'd get oil on this thing and it'd be, it'd be gone by this weekend, but that's not going to be the case. Uh, that's just 
that's just the way things are here sometimes. And that's not, it's not a good time for me right now. It's not a good time for anybody here right now, you know. Um, 